I've just got back from the supermarket picking up my click and collect order for this next fortnight and this is a little bit different um, this fortnight because um, for this first week I really only needed a bit of um, extra meat and some vegetables and because we're going away for three nights next weekend so I didn't need a whole lot of fresh fruit or anything so um, I'm just thinking that I may have looks like I may have missed some things but um, I'll check my receipt anyway um, yes yeah, so um, this is for the next two weeks but um, after next weekend when we get back from our weekend away I'll top up with um, fresh fruit and milk um, and bread if we need it um, I do have a freezer full of bread bread rolls Lebanese bread and all sorts of different um, bread items so um, I, if I don't need it I won't buy it and also uh, if you're wondering why there aren't any other grocery items like toiletries or cleaning products laundry detergent um, kitchen items like cling wrap or um, Ziploc bags or anything like that I just didn't need it so um, I didn't it wasn't on my list but here's what I got for this fortnight just my usual baby gem lettuce they um, can last me up to a month in the fridge so they're better than the iceberg lettuce and with with it being winter I um, really only need the lettuce for uh, a side salad or on a burger or a sandwich so um, as the weather warms up I'll be buying more lettuce on a regular basis for salads um, broccoli which is pretty um, cheap at the moment a whole cauliflower these brushed potatoes were a lot cheaper than the normal uh, washed potatoes that I get um, brown onions sweet potato two tomatoes um, carrots bananas these bananas will be chopped up and frozen for smoothies uh, the barbecue sauce which we go through quite a lot of because my husband has it on just about everything tomato sauce olive oil uh, tomato paste I find that the tomato paste in sachets um, is has always been the best for me with no waste and it, it in each sachet is two tablespoons of tomato paste which is what I normally have for each recipe I've got spray oil canola oil not that we eat a lot of oil it might seem but um, they just all needed they all just ran out at the same time crushed garlic whole egg uh, mayo salami for pizzas which will go in the freezer and ham for sandwiches and everything else I've even though per kilo these this is an expensive way to buy it but I find it really convenient because I just put them straight in the freezer and I only need to um, use one container at a, one little uh, section at a time penne pasta spaghetti um, two kilos of long grain white rice the per kilo and per two kilo price was the same um, I think I'll have to check my order but I think that was meant to be um, grated cheese just another convenience item but that's no problem I'll um, I can grate that one up myself easy enough and use this one for slicing um, just some crinkle cut uh, chips for those quick and easy nights where we have, might have a burger or um, homemade fish and chips uh, for two dollars it's pretty good value um, puff pastry always like to have that on hand and this um, they Coles has haven't been stocking their home brand puff pastry for a while but this was the most um, economical value just sausages corn silver side beef mince chicken breast my usual um, full fat Greek yogurt which I really love and is used in so many things and um, I bought this last fortnight and it's the Coles regular spread I was always um, strictly butter only in the house but I asked the family what they thought of it and no one could tell the difference they said it was um, really good it actually has a uh, four star rating on it um, if anything I'd probably still use butter for baking um, and maybe that in a cake because margarine in a cake uh, still does really well 
not that I've been baking a lot of cakes, but for um, my husband and my son on sandwiches, they haven't seemed to mind it. And it's only a dollar sixty for a kilo. So, and as you can see, a lot of these are Coles Home brand products, and every single one of them that I buy, I um, I love. I never had a problem with any of them, and um, they really help for me to keep the cost down. So that's what I got this fortnight, and. I'll share the um, amount um, on the next slide to check if I stuck to my $150 budget. Thank you.